Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, welcome. Please do smash that like button and subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Uh, keep in mind, this is going to be a general love reading. Sun messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. All right, Virgo. So we're going to take a look at this person's current feelings. And of course, I had a, I had a card flip. What's going on? Oh, it doesn't want to. Oh, <laughs> well, that's why it was in movement. Cupid's arrows. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation meeting. Okay, let's see. Oh, gosh, they're all flying to the floor. Now you got palm tree. Okay. Stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. Let me try to shuffle a little closer to the table. Oh, two. Okay. Abundance and, you know, I'm like failing today. Hand of cards. Okay. Virgo, right off the bat, there is someone here who is like Cupid's arrows, like pff, love struck over you. Okay. Um, this person, um, very stable, stable like a palm tree, I guess, but even in the wind. Um, but they're not showing their feelings. They got, you know, the hand of cards is kind of like not showing their hand, kind of keeping it to themselves. I feel like this person has a very positive thought process when it comes to you. Like you are bliss. You are everything. Um, you just make this person really happy. And I see them trying to manifest you right now. Well, not like, oh, why does my Apple ID thing keep coming up? not like in a manipulative way but i see this person like trying to manifest the love you know um not you but the love so um that somebody might live near where there's palm trees as well it could be you it could be this person but let's get into this reading and see if we can figure out like what they're feeling more about you and maybe who it is and that would be nice to know wouldn't it okay all right give me a second here <laughs> Okay, Virgo. Yeah, definitely somebody is like completely love struck. And definitely, um, I feel like you're going to get some kind of surprise invitation or meet up from this person. All right, let's see. Why would they be keeping it to themselves, though? I mean, they definitely want to take a risk, but they're not. They're waiting for the right time to show their hand. That's that's what I feel. That's what's going on here. Okay, they're being very strategic, looking at the options so they can come forward. I feel like somebody here wants to surprise you. Like, <laughs> surprise, I love you. Surprise, I want to be with you. Yeah, definitely that energy. Okay. All right, let's see. Show Virgo. Well, okay. Hmm. I feel like this person's been thinking about you for a while. Definitely. About communicating with you, not sure if they should or if they should reach out if they should wait there's definitely a little bit of hesitation i feel like this person's waiting for the right time um they're sick and tired of being alone and being out in the cold by you if you've left them out in the cold or just on their own i feel like this person is look at this they're definitely going to make this transition it's a, a necessary transition they know that you know life without you is ice ice baby just super super cold it's a struggle this person doesn't want to struggle look healing that heart wants to i feel like apologize for something as well um maybe something they said or something that they did now hold on a second there's definitely um the three of swords in the reverse definitely makes me feel like there's a healing energy happening here um physical healing um definitely apology recovering the loss okay I, virgo this person is all right so let me just stop for a second here i mean they've been on your mind yes look at this 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 always makes me feel like the thinking man this person's been thinking about you about telling you some kind of truth as well to bring some clarity in regards to what's on their mind and and mostly what's on their mind is they they feel alone they feel a loss here like they have this poverty mindset when it comes to love 
they feel like um, they're struggling. You know, whatever they're doing in their life, like their their work, maybe their health, their um, the people that they're with. It's just they're. I feel like just they're following people around like a puppy dog, like a, a stray stray dog or a stray cat. Yeah, and I feel like the only way that this person knows to get out of this energy here is to take that necessary risk and that change to heal. They have to apologize and they know that they have to do it and they're waiting for the right time. I mean, Virgo, this person is like crazy about you. Uh, maybe there's a distance between you and this person. Um, maybe you live across the ocean or there's just some kind of distance between the two of you. Um, but I definitely feel like this person, I just hear them saying to themselves, just cut the crap already. Just stop this. Like to themselves, about themselves. Like cut the crap, I keep hearing. I don't know if that's a phrase that they use that you've heard them say before. Um, okay, so the King of Cups is here. Yeah, this person has been weighing, definitely weighing things. I feel like they're looking at you. They're watching you. They're like tr curious, trying to figure out when is the right time to reach out and talk to you. Um, and I do feel like they're going to send you some kind of message. Um, kind of like asking you. Uh, I'm hearing, where have you been? Um, somebody asking you, where have you been? <laughs> it might be a text message because the page tends to remind me of like the writing on the wall. Like, where have you been? What have you been up to? What are you doing? I've been thinking about things. I've been weighing some options here. This is like this person has been, they're gaining balance. I feel like they have, um, and um, like, um, they might be a bit moody kind of like on a roller coaster of emotion they're trying to calm themselves down settle themselves down but they can't until they talk to you to at least have some type of clarification um that either you're available or that you will accept the apology some apology that they want to give you let me see okay wow so Wow, this person is like completely making major shift and change here. They're definitely going through a major shift and a change in their life at this time. And I'm also I'm also getting this message that this person is wondering if you're stable also like if you have sorted your money out or sorted some stuff out, okay? Um yeah you're definitely so the queen of pentacles is here so we have virgo taurus capricorn cancer scorpio pisces so you're definitely going to be receiving some kind of message from this person um they might ask you if you've if you've gotten lucky lately or if you've if you're it's something to do with money there's definitely like big money as well and these are just this just feels like a conversation you know i don't feel like this person is gonna just come right out like there's no cups except for the king of cups and the king of cups generally does not wear their heart on their sleeve you know um let me see what is this person's like deepest feelings here for virgo okay so the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh my gosh. Virgo, this person is like, they're very stubborn. I am just like this, they're stubborn. I feel like this person um, is stubborn in the sense that they can't seem to let you go. I mean, they might be stubborn in other ways as well. Okay. But, I mean, they're crazy about you. Look, initially the Empress came out into the reverse, which generally is someone who's very dependent. Um, this person, and I flipped it over just to show you, but this person is like, I feel like very dependent on you. There could be financial dependency as well. You know, uh, maybe you make more money than this person or 
they're curious to know if you um, are financially stable, like if things are going good financially. You know, I, I feel like it's mostly conversation, topics, the way the world is. I feel like that's the way the conversation is going to come in. But whoa, yes, they want to know if you, because um, you have a lid on your feelings here. But they, okay, that's a little arrogant. <laughs> that is so arrogant. That they just told me this person um uh the i feel like they they want to know if if they're your everything who i just want to be your everything open up your heart <laughs> do you remember that song oh my gosh that should be the friday lyric flashback uh honey i okay stop singing stop singing kelly i feel like this person they feel like you are everything to them but they want to know if if you are if if they are everything to you like i feel like this person they definitely see you as like a wish come true like with that abundance but i also feel like their energy is i'm also virgo's wish come true and they want to find out if that's if that's the case if you still feel that way or if that's just the case oh my gosh get the lovers here virgo <laughs> this person is in love with you like cuba's arrows absolutely 100 percent like you are their soul flame 100 percent. you are their twin mate well i don't even know what to call it but i feel like this they are head over heels like crazy in love with you you are definitely a wish come true you bring out a very feminine side of this person they might even have some feminine very feminine features but you bring out a very feminine side um to them where they they're kind of forced to to acknowledge their feelings and that's where i feel like this apology is coming from yeah i mean th with this lover's card this is definitely a decision and i feel like this person th they want to be with you and they're just kind of sorting it out like how they're going to approach because they want to apologize let me see what the apology is about what is this apology about what do they want to apologize for oh. hmm. okay you have a star so this person, oh, that's such a weird message. Um, this person wants to apologize for, I don't usually get this, but the star can sometimes be someone who is like in, uh, in the spotlight. I feel like they want to apologize for that, for being in the spotlight, which I, that doesn't make any sense, but maybe it will for you. And also um, they want to apologize also in reverse for not, how can I say this? Not having the inner clarity and not like having faith about the relationship that things could work out. This person sees you as a star, you know, like a bright shining star in their light, in their life. Like a star so bright that it shines even during the day. Okay. And I, I feel like they didn't really ever tell you that or treat you that way like you were their their north star or you were just like someone so important and so gleaming and so amazing and there's an apology coming for never telling you that or never really making you feel like you were baby i'm a star might not know it now baby yes i are i'm a star yeah, so they might maybe they thought they were the star and you weren't. There might have been an ego thing going on there too, a little bit of an ego. But now they're seeing that you are the one who is the star and you are the star of the show. You are the star in their darkest night. You are starring in their dreams. They are no longer starring in their dreams. There's a, it's a six of wands. So obviously this person might have been always seeking applause or attention or, you know, uh, they, maybe they were a celebrity. But kind of like this, things have shifted here. The roles have shifted in some way. Um, hmm. 
That's really interesting. So I don't know if you, you know, you're glowing. I can tell you that. This person sees you glowing, whatever it is that you're doing. Maybe you're not actually a star. Maybe you are um, in some way, a public, you know, in the, pu in the spotlight or something. But whether that's in like a career or not, or whether this person had a career like that or not, um, I kind of feel like they're viewing you like you are like you are in the spotlight now they're seeing you in the spotlight now they're seeing you glow up they're seeing you be amazing and do amazing things and yeah let me see how else this person i mean i don't know how else to tell you they feel about you except that you know they're like crazy they need you this person it looks like um i don't know what happened but this person is in like a really sorry state they're you know this is like mental insecurity struggle you know um i don't did you make them insecure or now they are they are insecure now maybe because your light is so bright and i don't feel like you're doing that on purpose it's perhaps just the way that things are going um but this person i feel like they they have a lot of like um, negative thinking or they or then they try to battle that. So like, for example, if you meet someone who is always positive, it's because they're fighting to always be positive. You know, a lot of times it's it's you know, we some people can have tend to have like downward thinking or if they struggle in life or just a difficult time, you know, and I know there are some people out there that just take things with a grain of salt and they're happy go lucky. But I feel like this person specifically has actually inner turmoil and inner mental struggles most often they're often isolated or they feel imprisoned by their own thoughts and they sometimes do that to themselves they make themselves put themselves in like a very negative kind of situation and I've, i just saw the seven of swords in the reverse so i feel like um and I'm going to mention that even though if it shows back up, it will. But, you know, I feel like this person feels like they're being punished for something that they did. And they want to make amends. Definitely. They feel like they're being punished. And that they you've got them in some kind of jail cell that they cannot get out of. And the only way to get out of this is to apologize or to try to heal or fix the situation. Um, to recover the relationship and try to have healing. Yeah, there you go. So you are definitely going to be hearing from this person in August for sure. Yes, and there I feel like they're going to reach out, ask if you want to get together to just talk. I feel like especially with the caduceus there on the 2 of cups, I feel like this person absolutely wants to get into healing even with the ace of cups as well. Try to have a potential start here, make things so much better what was the like why is this okay yeah so they're just saying like if i was asking i was attempting to ask why it something didn't work out and i feel like for some of you the message here is that maybe you guys were too young that's a message for somebody or um someone wasn't sincere enough or there wasn't like an equality and sincerity this is definitely an apology for um for something that they for running away or or, or something i feel like virgo okay i'm just hearing this person their thought process is all the things that i did and didn't do two and four virgo and virgo was still loving me anyway virgo still loved me anyway and they're seeing this how you were you were being kind as best as you could be no matter how frustrated you might have gotten with this person the things that you caught them doing you were still loving them anyway and this person you gave a lot of chances and they see this and they realize this and this you know what? I feel like this person was just up in their ego. I really do. Like they had a serious ego pro ego problem. And there's a big shift and change. Like you are humbling this person. And even if they were someone who had a tendency toward humility, it looks like um, 
maybe that wasn't real or it got the it got away from them a lot due to always needing applause and attention gosh i wonder who this is for so let me see here let me see your energy virgo let's look at virgo oh well it looks like you would accept an apology <laughs> king of swords Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like you would accept an apology if this person is being honest and they're being truthful and they're telling the truth based on what you already know. This is, I feel like Virgo, you already are aware of the lies and what the real truth is, but you may never have received confirmation on the truth. And I feel like you like you're not chasing after to get the truth from this person i don't see that yet but i do feel like if they're going to come in and confirm to you and validate what you know to be true rather than kind of maybe they made you feel like it wasn't happening or they just found a way to um change the topic or the, you know uh, i feel like you would accept an apology as long as it's truthful not just an i'm sorry virgo will be like you're sorry and the person will say yes i wanted to say that i'm sorry and virgo is going to be like what are you sorry for exactly like uh, spell it out write it down well uh i'm sorry for that time that you know remember when you told me or you asked me about something and i denied it and virgo is going to say yeah and they say well i'm sorry about that and virgo is going to say what exactly is that what exactly happened you know it, it's not like virgo i feel like you're in detail mode <laughs> like the king of swords definitely i mean being very strategic with receiving an apology from this person um uh, being very intentional as to get the information of what it is that they well that you already know that they did <laughs> that you or did or didn't do said or didn't say Okay. And they're going to give it to you. Yes, they're going to give it to you for sure. And the reason why is because they're hanging by a thread here. This person is hanging by a thread. And it's not, so this that's the catalyst, but that catalyst is also inflaming this person to realize how much they do love you and how much you mean to them and what your value is. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, an avocado. Yay. <laughs> Virgo, let's look at Virgo. Virgo's like, I got the power. It's getting, it's getting, it's getting kind of heavy. You are all up in your magical ways, Virgo. You are out there manifesting in your life. You got your cards on the table. You're like, it is what it is. It'll be whatever it'll be. You know, as it is above, so it is below. You're very focused at this time in August going forward, focused on your creativity, um, you know, turning. They're just saying, uh, turning, uh, turning rocks into gold, having the Midas touch. Like you're in a really great place, Virgo. Some of you just you some of you out there like disco dancing you know what i mean you're just like enjoying your life you know even if you're not some of you some of you might not be but some of you are just like i am the king i am the queen of manifestation with the magician i'm making things happen i'm doing things on my own i'm taking care of business taking care of business every day let me see what else there goes energy Yep, and you're not looking back. You're looking forward. You're making plans in your life. So you look good. You always look good, Virgo. There's no doubt. You always look good. But I also feel like you are kind of daydreaming as well about all the possibilities, what could be, what could happen, how things could go. You know, you've put things out there into the ether and like a boomerang, things are coming back to you in August, you know, waiting for your ships to come in and, 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 but you, it's not like you're just standing on the cliff hoping the ships will come in. I mean, you are like, you sent that boomerang out there. It's just a matter of time before it comes back. So, you know, the results will be coming. You're gonna get whatever it is you're trying to manifest 
your practical magic, whatever you're trying to do. Um, but let me see. Yeah, look. Oh my gosh. So Virgo, that's your card right there. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you are busy getting busy. Keeping yourself in a good place. You know what I mean? Not mean, Jelly Bean? You've, you, you've got like accomplishments that you've, you have your accomplishments and then you've things you're working on that you're accomplishing um, at least in August and through the rest of the year. You're definitely in service mode. You know, you are transitioning. You've completed some very serious tasks. You've completed some soul contracts as well. You know, you've had your endings and you're ready for the new beginnings, getting to the Ten of Pentacles, getting stable. You're very stable. You're looking good, dressing well. You got your money in the bank. You know, you're chit-chatting here and there and you're just living your little life, Virgo. You're just doing your little thing. And it's great. Let me see how you feel about this person. Virgo's feelings for this person. Hmm. You got the page of wands in the reverse, Virgo. Well, you kind of feel like um, they're trouble. <laughs> Maybe a little. But I kind of feel like um, you feel like they're a little immature. Um, you know, I'm, obviously I see definitely some change with this person. But looking back on this, I feel like... I just get a sense like you, maybe you were bored in the relationship. You felt kind of bored or you felt like they were boring. Um, and that there was just like this immaturity with this person. There's a lack of enthusiasm. So some of you are kind of looking at that past relationship and being like, you know what? I dodged a bullet. I didn't really miss anything here, you know? And does that mean that you don't love the person? Whoa. Let me see. See if we can get some feelings. The chariot. Wow. Get the ten of cups in the reverse. Well, that you know, there's definitely happily happily ever after. But I feel like maybe you got real with yourself and dipped out about the relationship because the person wasn't just giving to you the way maybe you were giving to them, which is what they see now. You know, that you were loving them even at their worst. And the things they did to you and the things that they, or they did to themselves. I, I've just, you know, it looks to me like you just were like, I'm done here. You might have ended the relationship with them or you were forced to end the relationship with them. And with the chariot, you just, it looks like you just got in your car and you're like, beep, out of here, burning some rubber. Just said, you know, I'm not, if I'm not going to be appreciated, just loved because they feel like virgo for you that's all you want virgos will climb the highest mountains cross the largest seas in search of true love that's how virgos are they'll even leave their partners if they think they found the perfect person for them someone else like it's the one they're with wasn't perfect or it wasn't perfect for them like that's how virgos are they're not cheaters not generally um that doesn't really have anything to do with the sign they're not players or anything like you know what i mean like manipulative and crazy unless unless they're an extreme reverse and they're like sociopaths but you know virgo just virgo can do their own thing virgo people don't understand this about virgos virgos are very very smart very intelligent very creative they make their own way in life they, they carve those paths out they're good in business they're very like i said very creative and they're just sweethearts generally they're sweethearts they're they want to help people you know um like sometimes people think virgos are criticizing others but they're not really like the place that it comes from is i see you working so hard to do that one thing but i'm but i want to tell you that there's a better way to do it and other people might take that as like a criticism you know because nobody like virgo's always right virgo can see right through the bs and always can like very extreme amazing analytical skills virgos can break stuff down in a flash you know, um, and just reduce, reduce, reduce to its absolute simplicity. And other people kind of take it. And I know as a Virgo, I've had people like say to me, why, why are you criticizing? And I'd be like, I'm, I'm really not. I think what you're doing is wonderful, but there's a better way. And it's my way and it's the right way. Trust me. And it's not like, oh, okay, because Virgos are egotistical because they're the farthest thing from it. They're so humble and very conservative. 
but people think that they're criticizing and they're, and they're generally not. Now there's times when Virgo can criticize and get frustrated if someone does not want to take their advice if there's a better way. And Virgo struggles with letting someone F up <laughs> because they don't want that person to waste their time and they don't want them to get hurt. So Virgo's probably biggest lesson is to let people make their mistakes because that's how people learn. Um, and then let them come to you and say, yeah, can we try your way now? So <laughs> I just kind of feel like Virgo, as far as your attitude and your feelings, I do feel like you have a heart for the person, but I just feel like it wasn't going anywhere for you and you just got going. Okay. Yeah. And you, it looks like you closed off. Yeah. You got into like some serious queen of wands mo uh, mode. If you're on the cusp of Leo Virgo, you might have activated your Leo side. But if not, you got into some serious boss up mode. You know? I feel like... I feel like you do love the person. You know? But you don't need them. You know what I mean? It's like... I feel like if like if you could talk to the person, you, could, you would say, you know, I love you. I want you. But I don't need you. Like, I need... I need your love. Yeah. And your support and your kindness, yeah, but I can do me and the world quite fine without you. I've done it long before I ever met you and I will continue to do it. So you're very independent, you know? Um, but I guess there is some part of you that wants reconciliation, but it's gotta be with, you know, this person coming in, having that like true awakening, this true wake up call and be on, and they have to be on their purpose. I don't know that this person was on their purpose. I, they may not have even known what they're like. Everybody should be on their purpose. Like, what are you just living your life doing if you don't have a purpose, you know? And if you don't have a purpose, find a purpose, purpose, right? And I feel like um, you're on yours, Virgo. You are definitely on your purpose, whatever it might be. You are, if you're not exactly on it, you're discovering it in August for sure. Like, what is the goal now? What am I doing? Why am I here? Is this real life? Where am I going from here? What am I doing? So I feel like you want someone to share in a purpose with in your relationship. I feel like, you know, I always like to say, I mean, there's nothing more... There's nothing more amazing than two people who are working on a project together. You know, like the relationship is not just about the relationship. You come together for a purpose. And I feel like that's what you're looking for. You know, like if, if you and another person, you know, you're, you're working towards a business together or you're working towards some kind of um, a charity of some sort or you're building a house together, or you're doing like the relationship is not the purpose and it shouldn't be the purpose. It, there should be something between the two of you that you both drive towards as a team, as a power couple. And I feel like that's what you are looking for in life. And is this person going to get on that purpose with you? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're going to boss up. Yeah. They're bossing up. They're already starting this process. So, you know. Some of you Virgo girls, I just heard you're looking for a daddy. You need a, you need your daddy. <laughs> Come here, daddy. <laughs> that's okay. It's okay. Some of you like that. I don't blame you. I think that's all right. Um, yeah, some of you are looking for someone. So when I say daddy, I mean it, not because you're like a little princess for the females or your little girl, but more like some of you Virgos are looking for someone that's going to be able to toe the line with you. Or at least... Um, You know, some of you Virgos are little brats. I'm going to say that. Some of you got some bratty mouths. And some of you, not all of you, so don't get offended if I'm calling you out. But some of you, I feel like you need that little spanking. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some of you need a little spanking from your daddy. Or some of you guys need a little spanking from your mommy. Like a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to take this over to OnlyFans. But you're, yeah, look, new growth, planting seeds working on those projects together. I definitely feel like this person is going to do it, but I got to tell you, they're coming in here with an apology. I give you some truth. They're waiting for the right time. This person, Virgo, is like head over heels in love with you. And that's the truth. 
that is the truth and it's going to be a win-win situation here for sure now if you want it right i always have to say that if that's what you want you got to want that if you don't want that then you know just click off the reading and let's tell you all right let's take a look and see what your messages of love let's see virgo come here daddy trust it is safe to trust in this situation acceptance everything happens for a reason virgo so why you and this person or you know not in alignment at this time there's a there's a huge reason for that and i feel like it's for both of you to take the lessons and grow and then based on the reading come back together in uh as a like a more powerful couple um lessons learned and mistakes have been made and now there's an opportunity to have this new start but i definitely feel like um, this person has accepted um their evil ways i feel like this person has gotten rid of the demons um they're learning to trust for sure because i feel like this person didn't trust and this person's coming in with some boundaries i don't feel like this person really i feel like they might have struggled with boundaries you know yep here's a soulmate coming in with an apology so you know forgiveness this person hopes you can forgive them accept the apology start talking again want want to try to get things going i just i just get a sense that like they're watching you like this person is they've got their eye on you i feel like they're curious about if you're seeing somebody else or if you're involved with anybody else or who you're talking to i feel like they're 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 very curious about you they're watching you maybe on social media or they're looking at you online somehow um you might not even know about this virgo it might be a secret they could behind the scenes kind of energy from this person where you know they're showing up like under a different name or under a different uh, phone number I'm, I'm picking up something real something real uh kind of weird but I, it feels like you know it's very indirect because i feel like this person is not a hundred percent sure um they don't like they know that they owe you an apology or they they know but like if you were with someone else they're not they don't want to come in and try to like screw things up you know so they're being protective like that in a sense protecting themselves protecting the relationship but um they definitely want another chance absolutely i mean i feel like this person is like longing for you crazy longing for you like they haven't forgotten you at all they're in love they're just in love with you they have been in love with you always in love with you just an idiot just stupid i feel like this person <laughs> you didn't share the same vision before and this person um they're like you know giving themselves like banging them like knocking their head knocking their noggin man i should have had a v8 i'm such an idiot i'm so stupid for walking away from virgo or just temporarily walking away and leaving them hanging yeah okay so wow virgo what in the holy heck is going on here in your life but these are their current feelings they like you are on their mind 24 7. all right let me get a couple of other messages whoa okay still undecided about this relationship at this time not sure what to do not sure what to say not sure when to come in and reach out not sure whether to answer the text or um, call the person back a lot of not sure whether to do this relationship or not there's an emotional wish being granted though so there's definitely that nine of cups energy feeling happy oh you got the good vibes card it's such a good vibration the energies are strong and powerful and all of the world is your play place love your life virgo do things that are fun and enjoy your life let me see be be happy the struggle's over there you go virgo i mean it's done you've completed the mission you've completed the task virgo you do not have to struggle. You were not put on this earth. This is my favorite saying. And, and if you are a Jesus lover, then you will understand this. And if you're not, that's fine. I'm not talking to you. But maybe you'll hear something about it. 
Jesus suffered for us. We were not put on this planet to suffer. He does not want us to suffer. He wants us to be happy. He says, it's okay. I suffered for you so you can live, so you can be happy. And that's a choice. End the struggle now, Virgo. End it now. Be done with it now. Make the decision to be happy. If you are someone who is in a struggle at this time, I always think like the best way to deal with struggle is to make a gratitude list. Find things to be grateful for. And then you watch and see the struggle just kind of magically disappears. It's all in our perception, in our attitude, right? How we view life. And I know it, sometimes it's a daily practice. Sometimes it comes easy to others. Okay, committed love relationship is on, it's knocking. I hear you knocking, but you can't come in. Well, some of you might be singing that song, but yeah, it's, it's in the cards for August. And hey, happy birthday in August for the Virgos who are born in August. That's a beautiful gift, but you know, if you're not, it's still coming, okay? It's definitely gonna happen. Have faith. This lover is coming in and they're gonna make amends and they're gonna tell you everything and they're gonna ask you if you forgive them and if you'll at least accept their apology and if you, they can have another chance to make things right with you. Absolutely. So this is good, Virgo. This is delish. It's so delish. Where are we at? Okay, I just wanna get a couple of hidden messages because I want to see what this person would tell you because it's you know pretty much all about their feelings, their current feelings what they want to say to you what does this person want to say to virgo oh you came closer than anyone <laughs> now that could be a very sexual message um or for them or for you let me see also uh, nobody else got as close to them as you did they know it they maybe didn't let anyone in as much as they let you in okay <laughs> I want you. Yeah, this person has a really strong physical re attraction. I almost said retraction. I hope y'all are using retractors. What are they, a gynecologist? Get the hell out of here. I replay our conversations over and over. I mean, they're obsessed. They've got a loop, you know, like an 80s tape. They get that loop going on. They hit, they hit rewind and then they play it back. They play those tapes back. All the conversations you had. There's things that they're seeing out in their everyday life that's reminding them of you and they just can't stop. They're constantly triggered. And, you know, they see something. Um, for example, <laughs> they see the little, how many of y'all remember this? This was my dad's before he died. I don't know. He bought, this is how old this is. What is it? The, um, this is the Michael Jackson raisin. <laughs> I'm bad. I'm bad. Come on, you know it. So um, they look at this. They look at raisin. They look at a raisin. <laughs> Come here, baby. Let me kiss you. Does anybody have a tissue? They look. <laughs> I used to, in my other channel. People used to tell me I sound like Janet Jackson. I was like, what? Um. What have you done for me lately? So they look at a raisin and something about a raisin re like reminds them of you. Maybe when you went swimming and how your fingers would get all raisiny looking, you know, pruny like. I don't know, but it's just an example. <laughs> don't mind me. Don't like seriously, you're here, you love it. So it's just something will remind them. They see an object and something will remind them of you. And then it trails back to conversations that you had about a thing and then and then it goes to another and then they're on this like I don't know the speed dial kind of thing where like they're dialed in and just plugged in and they have all these messages coming back in their mind about you this person's in love with you they love you unconditionally like like uh, Virgo this person they have tried I'm gonna tell you this this may not be all of you but they have they have tried to find you in other people. What did you do, this person, Virgo? They've tried to find you in other people and they were not able to. Maybe, like, you came closer than anyone, 
um, <laughs> whoever they tried to find you in, somebody came close, but it wasn't you. And you can't be replicated. Maybe you told this person that you'll look for me everywhere and every other person you meet, but you'll never find me. And they know it. And they know it. And they're like, yeah, that's true. Uh, Virgo's it for me. They couldn't let you, I couldn't let you get close to me. You speak to me through music. So there's something about music. Certain songs maybe you, sh you shared. I remember every detail of that day. Maybe a song that was shared. Um, or talking about music or playing music together. Maybe you guys played a guitar or you were in a band or you just sat and someone sang and someone did something else, you know, instrument or, or something. Um, or somebody wrote lyrics and they're playing those lyrics over and over. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, I do feel like if you gave this person, like if you crack that door open and let a little light shine in a little bit, save a little prayer for me. I do feel like they would, that would be a sign to them um, that, that they could come for it. I feel like they're looking for it. Now, I, all right, so let me just tell you, I don't feel like this person is just going, I don't feel like they are this person who's just gonna, out of the blue, um, unless they have some kind of sign that it's okay to enter, because <laughs> you're like a fire-breathing dragon behind that door, probably, with this person. Um, they don't want to get burned, you know? Um, oh. Hold on. Hey, I'll call you right back. I'm recording. All right. It's all right. So I feel like this person, if there's a sign or something small or teeny tiny, if that's what you, you want, or even if you don't want, some of you might just be like, eh, whatever, I don't even care. They can reach out if they want, I don't care. That's really what will trigger them to reach out to you. But will they, when, if they, like, if you don't give them a sign, I mean, they're possibly, but I, because I feel like they're strategizing when and what is the best way to come forward to get back together with you. Because I feel like this person, I don't know. There's something going on with, with you that they're seeing that they're like ugh, kicking themselves for not just choosing you, Pikachu. I don't know what to say. I just feel like this person is like, they're crazy. I don't know if they're, in, they're insecure. I do know that. I saw that. They're extremely insecure. All right, you guys, let's get into the Moon Pie Tarot. I mean, the um, Chinese signs and see you or this person. Maybe they're shy. Are they just indirect? Or they don't feel like they're good enough? Or they just have like issues? Um, which is crazy because they were showing up as someone who like sits on top of their horse looking for all this attention and loves all that. But I don't know. I think you make them nervous. Or you did. There's something about you like you are, you're the star. Might not know it now. Baby, yes, you are. You're a star. So, yeah, that's how they see you. And now they're shaking in their boots to approach you. Okay, year of the goat, year of the horse, year of the rat, year of the dragon, <laughs> year of the dog, year of the rooster, year of the rat again, double rat, year of the dog again. Okay, so if that's you, that's you. If it's not, like if it's you and your person, that's great. If it's not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. So take that with a grain of salt. I am going to look at the signs though, because I really enjoy doing this. So we start up implementing these into the readings. Let's take a look here. Okay. So Virgo, if you're connecting with an Aries. Okay. The situation, this person is asking, the Aries wants you to trust them and trust the situation going forward. Whatever situation you're in, the Aries is like, just trust it. Trust me. They want you to trust them. If you're dealing with um, a Taurus, um, there's some blockages. Might be some religious. Uh, you guys were brought up differently. You have different beliefs, religious beliefs or spiritual beliefs. And, and the Taurus um, is taking a look at that, at the differences. I, I feel like they're just looking at it. I don't know that they're making it a factor whether or not to be together okay but i feel like the taurus is really considering some um 
you know, they're looking at the spirituality or the, the religion aspect of life. And I feel like either that's something that you they realized about you and they're trying to do that themselves because you are inspiring this person on a spiritual path, perhaps. So I feel like the Taurus is kind of taking a look at that. Um, so if you're dealing with a Gemini, okay, Gemini wants you to stay optimistic about them and about the relationship. They don't want you to give up. They want you to stay positive and keep the faith that things will work out between you. Um, so if you're dealing with a cancer, um, cancer wants you and them to disconnect from the world and spend some time together. Cancer wants to be alone with you, Virgo. Go on a holiday or some kind of trip or retreat or something. Go walk in the woods. They want to have a walk. They want to take a walk with you and just talk. Um, if you're dealing with a Leo, oh, Leo wants to marry you. Leo sees wedding bells or marriage in the future with you. Okay, if you're dealing with another Virgo. Um, Virgo wants to get to know you better. Is looking for an opportunity or hoping there's going to be an opportunity for you and them to spend time together. To just try to deepen the bond, do some stuff together, or just get to know each other better. So if you're dealing with a Libra, Libra wants reconciliation with you. Yes, they want things to work out. They want you and them to reconcile, make things better. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio believes that you are worth waiting for, Virgo. And only you, nobody else, they will wait for you. If you're dealing with a Sagitt Sagittarius, you need to pay attention to the red flags. Okay? Um, the Sagittarius is also looking at red flags, paying attention to red flags as well might be a difficult relationship um, if you are dealing with a Capricorn Capricorn thinks you're being deceptive or that you're wearing a false mask and wants you to remove your mask and open up and put your dukes down with them If you're dealing with an Aquarius Aquarius believes that you could be the one they know that they've already met the romantic partner they seek which is you and they feel that you are the one for them. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna have time to upload this in time, so sorry. Um, if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is super attracted to you. Like, thinks you are very attractive. Um, wants to have some romantic moments with you and only you. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna skip the numbers and the names and we're just gonna get right into the charms. Because I'm way over time with this video. Sorry. I don't know how this I don't know how this reading went so damn fast. Okay, Virgo. All right. So you know what? I'm just gonna say it, and it's very candid. But um, somebody's thinking about somebody's nuts. <laughs> Maybe somebody's eating some nuts, or. Um, somebody puts pine cones with acorns on their christmas tree okay <laughs> somebody's getting tea bagged i i just like i can't i can't with these readings i just can't i gotta stop saying this stuff i wonder if oh wow i'm just hearing um this relationship is going is coming full circle keep that in mind yeah this relationship is going coming full is coming around full circle That's interesting. I don't think I've ever said that with that. I had a message like that with that uh, with that charm. All right, and also, um, oh, okay. Now we have a peacock. Things are getting really candid around here, y'all. Stop, dirty minds. Okay, we've got a peacock. Somebody's going to be flaunting and cock blocking as well. Somebody's going to be flaunting to get your attention. Definitely. I don't know, maybe you're at the zoo and you saw a peacock and they went, woo, and their feathers just plumed out. Perhaps. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, I definitely see either somebody's going to be trying to get your attention or you're going to be flaunting trying to get somebody else's attention. And then there's a rabbit. Hello. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there. Wow, we just hit like 58 minutes. I'm going to shorten it a little bit. But um, if you want to get a personal reading for August, there's a special. Go to the link below. Also, please join my OnlyFans. Come on, you guys, step it up. 
to get over there. Thank you to everyone who has joined already. Super awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, I will see you all. Oh, please also donate to the, to the um, Rescue Kids funds that I have available. Just go to my link, the bottom of the, um, in the description box under the video. Click that link and you can peruse everything that I have there. Readings, eBooks, all kinds of goodies, the HIV stuff, um, the explicit readings, all that stuff. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful evening. Love yourselves. Love each other. Make a choices. And I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye. My heart.